Our desire to explore the universe is growing along with it, according to James. Our horizons are being expanded by the Webb Space Telescope, which is already in orbit. However, as usual, humanity seeks out new places where life may exist in the universe. Hello and welcome to KYC News, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's learn about the Nancy Grace Roman Space today. A telescope will transform astronomy and aid in the discovery of 100,000 new exoplanets. Why do we currently need another space telescope? Some of you may be asking. Didn't we just send the James Webb Telescope into orbit? But before that, it's normal to a number of telescopes in orbit around the Earth or farther away from the planet because no telescope can be a one-size-fits-all approach to obtain astronomical information on many wavelengths since no one type of telescope can detect every object. Scientists must utilize a variety of them. Sort of wavelength since various electromagnetic spectrum wavelengths call for various. Additionally, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope is a Hubble-sized instrument with detection methods. Telescope that will advance astronomy by utilizing the findings of science with advancements in technology made by the James Webb and Hubble Space Telescopes, which are currently preparing for and launch of the observatory in late 2026 Roman will give a panoramic perspective that is a hundred times wider than bigger than Hubble resulting in the first space-based broad field mapping of the cosmos unlike the Webb telescope's higher sensitivity to Hubble Roman's unique resolution of very ambitious science will be made possible by the ability to conduct large-scale surveys at space-based resolution first a program that NASA renamed from the wide field infrared space telescope the expedition in 2020 following the passing in 2018 of Nancy Grace Roman, the first chief astronomer of NASA, whose decision to choose mathematics over Latin or Roman was responsible for establishing in the 1960s, a group of astronomers and engineers was formed to consider how in-space telescopes transform scientific inquiry. These identical efforts ultimately produced the Hubble Space Telescope. It is a very fitting tribute to her life to name this telescope after her. Large cosmic panoramas will be produced by NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. However, it will also assist us locate thousands of answers to inquiries about the development of our cosmos. Exoplanets were only known to us as myths 30 years ago, and we couldn't say for certain if most of them existed. If the sun was a particularly unique star, or if any of the stars in our galaxy had their own planetary systems. However, because to the Kepler Space Telescope and later ones, we now know of it. There are at least 4,000 exoplanets in our galaxy, and our website has also been accessed by nearby galaxies. Looking for extrasolar planets, Kepler primarily discovered big planets orbiting faint stars. Tess Kepler's survey work is expanded upon by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which looks for smaller planets circling brighter stars, but we can hope to see them all with the Roman Space Telescope. Our first galactic census of exoplanets as possible searches with this telescope for smaller planets, including some that could be rocky worlds the size of Earth. NASA additionally, NASA is looking for planets similar to Earth that might harbor life as we know it. The Roman Space Telescope is anticipated to study 100 million stars throughout the course of its five-year mission and discover 2,500 brand new exoplanets. Many of these exoplanets are likely to be rocky, Earth-sized worlds, as is expected. Additionally, RST will directly picture the Sun using a coronagraph, a light-blocking disk. A few planets are revealing their components for the first time. The telescope will use a novel method known as microlensing to look for exoplanets. Might imagine microlensing as Einstein's magnifying glass since planets, stars, and galaxies all have such enormous. The light from other objects behind them can actually be bent and magnified by their gravitational fields. When a star passes in front of another as seen from Earth, it creates eye-catching halo effects in space. Around the foreground star, the light from the background star is bent and magnified. If there are planets around that foreground star, 
they will bend and magnify the light from the background stars. If the amount of light coming from the planet continues to increase, experts will look at survey the RST's photos to seek for these microlensing events, enabling them to find even tiny rocky objects. Despite having a smaller field of view, the exoplanet's RST camera is just as sensitive as the Hubble Space Telescope's. View 100 times larger, so whatever the first is viewing, it will be able to collect. A large amount of data at once, such as the picture you're viewing right now by using the panchromatic Hubble Andromeda, one of the most extensive Hubble programs yet. Fiscal program, an amazing high-resolution glimpse of our nearest galactic neighbor may be seen in this photograph. The Andromeda Galaxy is a collection of millions of individual stars to completely view. Astronomers captured 400 different pointings of the galaxy's spiral disk and dense center area. The blue square highlighting Hubble and linked them to create a wide field mosaic. The gold standard for comprehending the intricate structure of galaxies like the Milky Way is currently pictured. However, if you examine the Roman field of vision, which is highlighted in red, you can see how considering how large Roman's footprint is in relation to Hubble's, it would only take two of his pointings to cover the whole Hubble examined region with this mosaic at the same picture depth and quality as the RST will also utilize a coronagraph, a light blocking disk, to analyze specific individual stars because exoplanets are a million times fainter than their host stars, making direct imaging of them impossible when photographing a firefly adjacent to a spotlight a coronagraph prevents the host star's light from being captured allowing us to directly observe exoplanets the roman space telescope is a project that focuses on astrophysics which will aid researchers in their search for dark energy a mysterious force that might be responsible for the universe the RST will research dark energy by mapping the distribution in order to expand at a faster rate. Roman numerals are used to measure the amount of matter in the universe and how the universe has grown over time. Some of the light wavelengths coming from the exoplanets it can see with its telescope. Thanks to a spectroscopic mode, directly images scientists will learn more about the makeup from this. Astronomers will be able to determine not just whether an exoplanet has an atmosphere, but also the nature of those atmospheres. But also determine whether its atmosphere has clouds or methane, the more effectively best on planets the size of Jupiter, thus we won't be able to look into their atmospheres. But RST's coronagraph is intended to evaluate coronagraphs, not Earth-sized exoplanets. Tech for upcoming missions giant star curtains have been suggested by scientists as a way to block. We can directly observe planets the size of Earth to search for indications of life because the light from stars is so pure. The sensitivity and wider viewing field of the Roman Space Telescope owing to its 18 square detectors would give it the surveying capabilities of a hundred Hubbles. These square detectors would have a 4096 by 4096 pixel image processing capability. That will enable the Roman telescope in space to observe an area nearly 1.33 times the size of the full moon. The coverage of Hubble, on the other hand, is just around 1% of the diameter of an entire moon to collect images in the multiband near field. The Phi uses a 300 megapixel camera infrared region of the spectrum, the CGI will block light from far off stars. That collectively would otherwise prevent the detection of smaller, dimmer objects. Roman will be able to perceive aspects of the universe that would otherwise be invisible thanks to devices. The RSD's halo orbit near the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point would be another benefit. It will be a million miles from Earth, giving it a clear perspective of the universe and the capacity to an addition, the coronagraph device allows for practically continuous observation. Additionally, be fitted with deformable mirrors that help minimize minor flaws that using these particular mirrors, image quality is diminished. Roman's photos will show a lot more planets are located on fainter worlds that are closer to their host star than we would normally be able to observe. 
will be counted using special detectors on the chronograph equipment because the objects they will examine are so dim. No other observatory has been able to observe individual photons of light as they come seconds or even minutes apart. The Roman Space Telescope will be an improvement over visible light imaging that has been done in the past. Key turning point that will influence our future space endeavors because of the lessons this Roman's information will be taught to us through the telescope in the latter half of this decade. Get us closer to discovering suitable planets like Earth that might be habitable for humans and maybe who knows when Roman will see through. Please help us determine what kinds of living forms we can anticipate there. Infinite space might come across life there and come to stare at us in return. Tell us in the comments how eager you are to discover the mysteries of the universe using their telescopes. Thanks for watching and see you on next video.